ever since he broke out onto the main roster, getting called up to Monday Night Raw, Bron Breaker has been on nothing more than a rampage. He has been squashing and destroying people left, right, center. He has been making his mark, taking every opportunity given to him and just breaking them. And now, Bron Breaker is getting his first one-on-one -on -one opportunity to win a championship on the main roster. We all know Bron Breaker is a former two-time NXT champion, former tag team champion with Baron Corbin. But now he's going up against Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn, a very, very, very proud Intercontinental Champion winning it from Gunther in that amazing match at WrestleMania 40. He has since defended it against the likes of Chad Gable. He has defended it against Bronson Reed. Sheamus has tried inserting himself into the mix, but you never know, that might come at another date if Sami Zayn can survive Bron Breaker. The young rookie is probably feeling super confident. And here we go. Is that confidence going to show or will Sami Zayn's experience take control of the situation? Ooh, it's not going to end up good for Breaker if he's extremely, extremely just ineffective like the way that he was just going in for a spear straight away. Sami Zayn ascending to the top rope. Excellent swanton bomb straight in, straight off the bat. And there's one and it's a kick out. Breaker needs to watch what he's doing. He can't be too... I can't think of the word right now, but he can't get too ahead of himself. He needs to think. He needs to think. He can't just go in and think that he can just go in and destroy and take this Intercontinental Championship from Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, excellent tornado DDT there. Springboard Tornado DDT from the middle rope. Sami Zayn, a proud Intercontinental Champion. What? I believe this is his fifth reign with the belt as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Bron Breaker, the, su the son of Rick Steiner, former Tag Team Champion, and the nephew of Scott Steiner, former WCW champion, former tag team champion as well. One of the greatest tag teams of all time. Sami Zayn, former tag team champion, intercontinental champion as well. Former member of our beloved bloodline, our head of, our, our head of the table, Roman Reigns. We miss you. What a dive through the ropes, through the corner, hitting a DDT. Sami Zayn is on fire. The young rookie at the moment just cannot keep up with the experience Sami Zayn. Breaker looking to get a little bit of distance from Sami Zayn. But Sami Zayn still very much in control in this match. Dropping down once, jumping over twice. Excellent arm drag. The referee needs to move out of the way or he's going to get smacked, clattered around the head. Now Breaker just throwing bombs and he's looking to hit big. Is he going to be able to hit this? Big suplex on Sami Zayn. A very, very arrogant pin attempt, which has correctly been called for a rope break. Like I said, Bron Breaker has been incredibly impressive since his main roster debut on Monday Night Raw after being drafted. Breaker is now... He's got Sami Zayn in the corner. Ooh, knee to the chest. Breaker's going to have to do an awful lot to be able to put down this hard hit to not hard hitting should I say but this proud champion fighting champion should I say it was an incredible match at Wrestlemania 14 that saw Sami Zayn win the Intercontinental Championship Breaker what has he got planned big bulldog going for a cover going for a pin there's one just a kick out at one. It's been quite the match so far. Breaker looking for big, big moves of power. Sami Zayn trying to utilize his ring te techniques and his experience to be able to take down the young upstart. Stomp to the arm.
knee to the back of the head stomps to the back of the head as well Sami Zayn never met a challenge that he couldn't defeat excellent springboard drop kick there using the using breakers momentum there to get such height on it and German suplex but correctly noted for a rope break European uppercut there. This has been quite a match between these two. Breaker, he needs to take advantage of this opportunity. His first one-on-one -on -one opportunity for a main roster championship. The Intercontinental Championship, a very proud title with a great lineage where some of the best of the best have held this title. The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, Sami Zayn, Jeff Hardy, many, many incredible wrestlers. AJ Styles as well. Gunther, the longest reigning champion. You got Honky Tonk Man, Ultimate Warrior. Many of the best have gone ahead and won this championship, which has always led them further to be able to capture the WWE or World's Championships. Big clothesline there by Breaker. Been quite the match so far. Good back and forth. Sami Zayn utilising his intelligence and, in, and experience, whilst Breaker just utilising nothing more but brute strength. Sami manages to move away from that suplex and chops the strong lad down. Go watch out because if Breaker hits that spear, it could mean big, big trouble. But here, whoop. nice little back and forth, back suplex there by Bron Breaker. Now just smashing away at Sami Zayn's skull. Stomping away as well. Oh, what a kick to the face there. And Breaker has gone right outside of the ring. Big chop kicked. Just smashing away at the young upstart. This could be the beginning of the end for Breaker. Referee utilising their 10 counts so far up to the count of two. Sami Zayn throwing Bron Breaker right into the ring steps there. Now just throwing him away. Referee is up to the count of three. Sami Zayn will retain the Intercontinental Championship if there is a 10 count. But I'm sure Sammy won't want to retain the title on the count out. He wants to be able to put this young lad down and pin him one, two, three in the middle of the ring. Referee up to the count of eight. Breaker needs to get up. Sammy Zane breaking the count. That could be a terrible, terrible idea. But as I said, Sammy Zane, proud champion doesn't want to win on the count out he wants to pin the young upstart teach him a lesson some manners by pinning him one two three in the middle of the ring excellent northern light suplex but it's been a back and forth of just moves between these two who's going to get the advantage who's going to Sami Zayn now just hyping up the crowd but who's going to get the advantage Sami Zayn now getting back in the middle of the ring to meet up with Breaker. Big shoulder tackle. Stomp to the gut. This match very much so, so far can go either way. Who's going to get the advantage? Who's going to be the one to hit that big move to finish the other off? Just smashing Breaker across the skull, teaching the young man some manners. Sami Zayn ascending to the top rope. What is he looking for? Big moonsault, which connects, and now he's going straight in for the pin. There's one, two. Oh my goodness, a kick out at two. It's getting closer and closer. Sami Zayn. Springboard DDT off the middle rope. Sami Zayn now looking to just wrench the knee, wrench the legs. 
take out Breaker's legs. He can't exactly hit his spear now, can he? So he's done it on one leg. Now he's being smart and looking to do it on the on the other as well. Take out both legs, like I said. And then Breaker cannot utilize that spear. Wrench in the neck as well. Breaker looking to break free. Sami Zayn now just chucking him down. This could be it. The beginning of the end of Breaker's first opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. And there's another moon, so this has clearly got to be it. And there's one, two, three. Ron Breaker fought hard, but the experience and the intelligence of Sami Zayn means that he has retained the Inter. Continental Championship. Breakers wait for his first main roster title continues. <laughs>